Pretty cool. OK, good. I'm actually kind of a jerk. But I hide it well under Canadian veneer. Um, I do kind of a medium amount of professional speaking. And usually I get a kind of a brief about what I'm supposed to talk about. And this time I didn't. So I put a random assortment of things I thought would be interesting together. And uh, I have let's see, 27 minutes to get through it all um, <clears throat> before the questions start. So I better start my timer. So here's one thesis that probably no one will disagree with, but it's still worth arguing for because um, it's, I think, taken for granted. Um, and that's partly because this is a, a, an idea that's attributed to Paul Sappho, the futurist prognosticator, um, but it has its origins a little bit earlier on, that as human beings, we routinely overestimate the short-term change. So you remember in 1998, 1999, people freaking out about the internet's going to change everything. Um, and some things change, but not really so fast. But we also underestimate the long-term effects of technological change. And I think that we still underestimate the long-term effects of the internet. Uh, I'm going to start with a short video, because it makes things easier for me. It takes four minutes. Whew. <laughs> and it's funny, and it makes everyone happy. Everyone's pretty happy already, because everyone likes to Fusion Forum. In fact, let's hear it for Fusion Forum. Who likes to get Fusion Forum? Yeah, all right, that's fantastic. See? Easy. Here's a video. Yeah, well, there's been more times, I think. I just feel like we may be going back to that, by the way. But uh, in a way, good, because when I read things like the foundations of capitalism are shattering, I'm like, maybe we need that. Maybe we need some time where we're walking around with a donkey with pots playing on the sides. Do you think that would just bring us back to the reality? Yeah, because everything is amazing right now, and nobody's happy. Like, in my lifetime, the changes in the world have been incredible. When I was a kid, we had a rotary phone. We had a phone that you had to stand next to, and you had to dial it. Yes. You don't, you don't realize how primitive, you're making sparks <laughs> in a phone, and you actually would hate people with zeros in their numbers, because it was more, it was right. like, oh, this guy's got two zeros, screw that guy. Why do I want to, <laughs> ugh. And then if, you, if they called and you weren't home, the phone would just ring lonely by itself. <laughs> And then if you wanted money, you had to go in the bank for when yes. it was open for like three hours. You had to stay in line, write yourself a check like an idiot. And then when you ran out of money, you'd just go, well, I can't do any more things now. <laughs> right. I can't do any more That's things. That's it, yeah. That was it. And even if you had a credit card, they, the guy would go, ugh, and he'd bring out this whole chunk, chunk, and he'd write, yes. oh, you have to call the president to see if you have any money. And it's all true, it kids. You phone. had to call the president, yeah. It was ridiculous. Yes. Do you feel that we now, in the 21st century, we take technology for granted? Well, yeah, because now we live in an, in an amazing, amazing world, and it's wasted on the, on the crappiest generation of just spoiled idiots <laughs> that don't care, because this is what people are like now. They got their phone, and they're like, ugh. It won't. Give it a second. <laughs> give it, it's going to space. Can you give it a second to get back from space? Is the speed of light too slow? Yeah. 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 I was on. A, I was on an airplane, and there was internet, high-speed internet on the airplane. That's yes. the newest thing that I know exists. And I'm sitting on the plane, and they go, "Open up your laptop. You can go on the internet." And it's fast, and I'm watching YouTube clips. It's. I'm in an airplane. And then it breaks down, and they apologize. The internet's not working. The guy next to me goes, this is bull <laughs> <laughs> Like, how quickly the world owes him something yes. he knew existed only 10 seconds ago. Right. Right. And on planes... Flying is the worst one because people come back from flights and they tell you their story. And it's like a horror story. It's they act like their flight was like a cattle car in the 40s in Germany. That's yeah. how bad they make it sound. Right. They're like, it was the worst day of my life. <laughs> First of all, we didn't board for 20 minutes. Right. And then we get on the plane and they made us sit there on the runway for 40 minutes. We had to sit there. Oh, really? What happened next? Did you fly through the air incredibly 
like a bird? Did you partake in the miracle of human flight, you non-contributing zero? That you got to fly? You're flying! It's amazing! Everybody on every plane should just constantly be going, Oh my God! Wow! Yes! You're flying. You're, you're sitting in a chair in the sky. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Really, but, but it doesn't it doesn't go back a lot <laughs> and it's, and it's not really you know here's the thing people like they say there's delays on flights yeah. delays really new york to california in five hours that used to take 30 years <laughs> to do that and a bunch of you would die on the way there and have a baby you'd be a whole different group of people by the time you got there <laughs> now you watch a movie and you take a dump in your home yeah, <laughs> yeah. nicer way to say it than that but yeah it's a, no Yeah, I like showing that clip because uh, I get a lot of applause. Uh, it also makes a couple points much better than I'm able to myself. The downside is I'm not quite as funny. So, so we'll see. So one of the um, miracles, as far as I'm concerned, of the modern age is telecommunication. You think about those two words together, telecommunication, communication at a distance. It is actually super freaking amazing that almost any member of our species can even communicate, share information, coordinate activity, share knowledge with any other human being anywhere on the surface of the planet. Um, and I think that's really something that's unprecedented in the evolution of the planet, because first you got this spinning ball of gas, it cools down a bit, and then there's some uh, bugs or whatever. And then there's dinosaurs and mammals, and finally Homo sapiens emerge. Um, and you have this path of evolution, and leads us to today, modern man. <laughs> um, 